What is up guys? Welcome back to the video. So if you guys are new, my name is Mike. Today is a little bit of a special video because in this video, my brother is picking up his Evo. He has a new license plate, brand new. He's finally gonna pick this up anymore. Is that your first mod, your license plate? Damn, bro. And horsepower. At least. Sheesh. I remember when I had these wheels. Sorry, there's a lot of construction going on on top here, but I remember when my car was this color. It's so filthy, like look at it. I know, it's pretty dusty. It needs a clean, but also needs a good drive. Damn. Got the crooked anti-perfect sticker too, if you want to support the channel. That's how you know it's a, it's a, it's a good car. It's really anti-perfect. <laughs> yeah. This, yeah, it's a good car if it has this, definitely. This is just day one and his trunk's already so full. Damn, fucking slam that thing, bro. Sheesh. No respect. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was really weak. We gotta work on that, boys. Oh, man. Good old stock Evos. But this thing actually has like so much potential and I'm kind of bummed out that I never ran this OEM wing. I did for like a really short time, but it actually looks really good. It just like suits the car and it gives it like, I don't know, a more sports car look with the wing because without that wing, it just looks like a Lancer to me. But this is his build. It's going to be completely different than Ariana. So I think this might be the first stance car build on the channel. So this is going to be pretty cool. Right? I guess I'm going to hop in with Josh. Damn, bro. Nice Lancer. Right back at you. <laughs> First car has a stage three twin plate racing clutch. Dude, <laughs> I don't think I could have daily that. <laughs> oh, oh, sheesh in the sun, the red look. So good, pops. So right now we're at Innova. My brother already wants to get the car wrapped like a different color, just because my Evo's red and I understand that we don't want to have like the exact same car, exact same build. I think he's gonna pick out a color now and maybe a livery, I don't know what he wants to do with it. Any updates on this car will totally be on the channel. If you guys want to follow along another Evo build, this is the place to be. Day two. This is kind of a special day because the S2K is finally gone. It was fun, it was a super cool car. I've always wanted to test drive an S2K and experience it. I realized why people love them so much. They're awesome cars. Enjoy the car, man. So we just sold the S2000 and I'm out with the guys. Kevin's here and Brayden brought out his Integra, but we found this awesome spot. We're actually not supposed to be here. This is actually like a walking, This we're, we're in a park and we drove our car up. This looks so freaking good! So we're gonna go take some shots and hopefully it's gonna come out really good. One of the most fun things about taking pictures and photography is, is going places where you aren't supposed to be. Jangle. This is straight up, straight up, this is a sidewalk. <laughs> I've never driven my car on a sidewalk. It looks, it's so sick. Look at that, this is the road. But yet yeah, so sketch. Yeah, so sketch. And there's some random people just chilling here. We just drove off the sidewalk. Probably getting it on somewhere. <laughs> Maybe they're just like... Oh, baby. Oh, making baby? Yeah, making baby? Maybe they're making baby. Alright, so before I end today's video, I just want to say a few things. I did end up selling the S2000 and selling that car was really different than selling like the WRX or the Forester, the Legacies, even the Evo. If you guys have watched my older videos, you guys know that I import cars from Japan. Selling that S2000 was, it was a little different because at first, I wasn't a huge fan of S2000s and I didn't really understand why people love them so much. One of the cars that have such a huge cult following. When I was given the opportunity of buying an S2000, I had to try it out. I wanted to see what it was like, why people like them so much, 
and why Honda guys just like VTEC. I've never experienced VTEC in any car other than the S2000 and driving driving it around a little bit was definitely an experience. Hitting VTEC, it's not as exciting. I can't really compare it to having a turboed car like the Evo. VTEC kind of just hits different, especially with the AP1 S2000. Within the first like 5,000 RPM or whatever, there's like literally nothing going on. It's a super slow car. And then you rev it up all the way up to Redline and that's when it kind of opens up and you can hear VTEC. It's actually really exciting. And I was really glad that I was able to kind of experience the S2000 a bit. And it felt really good selling the car, not from like a financial standpoint, but it felt really good because the guy who bought it was actually a really nice guy. I can tell that he was, he really liked the car and has always wanted an S2000. The guy was so happy, especially when he drove it out. It felt really good because I can tell that the guy was super happy with the car. A couple days after I saw the car on the road and the guy's smile was just like up to here, was super, super cool. Seeing the yellow on the S2000, I, I feel, it just suits the car. I've always wanted to have like a Honda spoon build. So that was the closest thing I've I've gotten to that. Maybe one day I'll buy an S2000 again or a Honda and have like a spoon race car type build. I think that'd be super cool. The S2000 to me, it's so dialed, especially the VGS model that we had. I think VGS stands for variable gear steering. The steering ratio would match whatever speed you're going. It's a technology that was so ahead of its time. I think the sports cars nowadays are coming out with that. It's a totally different feeling. You guys would have to try driving a VGS S2000 to really understand what I'm saying, but that car was so much fun and I'm I'm really happy that I was able to finally understand why people love the S2000 because it's a super planted car it feels really light on its feet VTEC just hits different the Z that has I don't think any variable valve timing at all it's just a V6 and I have the Evo and I would have to admit VTEC is kind of in between there it's like the missing link between having a turbocharger and a totally naturally aspirated engine. It's so different. I don't know, I'm just really happy that I was able to experience an S2000. I probably said that a bunch of times in this video. And I do also wanna apologize if this video was kinda like everywhere because this was kind of like random clips that I filmed throughout the week. It has been really cold and it has been raining here in Winnipeg. So again, once the rain stops, it should stop tomorrow, I will start uploading more and more. I just wanted to upload this video just to give you guys a heads up on what's going on. Some stuff are coming in for the Evo. I did order new things. The power steering reservoir is coming in. It's just delayed because of everything that's going on. Same with um, some carbon fiber bits for the Z. Also, my brother's Evo is here. I'll give you guys a little rundown of my brother's Evo because he did get new rims and I wasn't around to film it, but it looks really good. So I'll show you guys one sec. Oh shit, focus. There we go. It was raining earlier, but it did just stop. You can tell the Corvette's like super shiny. It's never shiny. My mom's car is dirty. My Z is not here. Um, we had to borrow the van for a day. So the, my Z is where um, the van was. Ariana is literally, literally looks like Ariana's melting right now. The car cover actually flew off and it, she's really wet underneath. So I'm sorry, baby girl. I'm gonna have to wash this car later, but this is Josh's car. I did buy these rims secondhand. I was planning on putting these rims on my Z, but it turned out Josh wanted these rims, so I ended up selling it to him. And my dad and I, while well, I was helping some friends out with their cars, and he did wash the car, but it did rain, so it's really dirty, excuse that. They are made by ProDrive. I, I believe it's like a sub-brand of um, Volk Racing or something. They're made in Japan. And they actually look really good. I've never seen a local Evo with five-spoke wheels, but the red and the black actually look really, really good. And the fitment is kind of bunk. He's on lowering springs, but as you guys can see, it's really like sunken in. So I'm gonna be helping my brother with that as well. He, I think he needs like a 20 or 25 mil spacer just to push him out. His plans with this build is to do like a stance build. So we have race car Evo over here and a stance Evo, which is really cool. I think that's like a good diversity between the two. So you will be seeing more of this Evo as well on the channel. I'm super hyped to see uh, what my brother has planned. He did order something and it's in a box inside. It's not for my Evo, so you guys will be getting double the Evo content. We'll be working under the hood, be wrapping the car and stuff like that. I think it's a cool addition to the channel, especially 
You guys love my Evo, so you're gonna have another Evo to love. I can't wait to have this car all done. It's, it's gonna look sick. But anyways, I'm gonna have to end the video here. I do apologize if this video was kind of like everywhere, kind of random, but I just wanted to get this little update video for you guys and see and kind of tell you guys what's going on. So I'm gonna have to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and join the Annie Perfect Society. Peace out and make it happen.